Good morning and welcome to the Mike Show for Thursday, May 9, 2024. 49 degrees at 9.09 a.m. and I am your host, Doc Kamal, and I'm a sinner. And I'm powerless and life is unmanageable. Humility and gratitude are the keys to life. It's always today and it's always now. My life is not my own. My will will not be done. There is no reality but God. And the only thing we've got to do is die. So how are we going to live today? And I hope and pray I can live from my heart a life based on faith and not fear. Oh boy, it's another beautiful spring morning. But I have zero ambition and I ache all over. <laughs> Having a little trouble breathing also. Initially woke up around, oh, a little after 5 o'clock. Dozed off till about 6 and then went back upstairs and laid back down and got out of bed about, oh boy, 20 after 7 I guess it was. Initially set up to go sit outside to do the mic show and have coffee and wake up time. Michael, Max, and Sully went out. And I sat there a little bit. Speaking of else, where is she? She was here. Uh, I went out there, but I just couldn't sit there. Even covered up in the sun and out of the wind. It was just too cold for me this morning. So here we are, sitting in our corner. To the 8 billion of you who do not tune in on a regular basis, our apple tree granny is doing fine, Granny Smith. The rest of our farm operation is still green growing and alive. Leaves are still struggling to come out on the trees. The spirea's got leaves. And, uh, yeah. Mikey's in his rocker. I'm off my rocker. Sullivan's still outside. And I wish I could just go back to bed. I'm that tired. But I know that's an exercise in futility, so we'll just keep sucking on coffee and then make an iced coffee, one of my electric coffees, and we'll go where the day takes us. But I have absolutely zero plans or ambition right now. Yesterday in the morning, we did manage to bake bread. And after the rain quit, <clears throat> we hopped on our Detroit bike and rode down to Save-A-Lot and took a loaf to Keith. Picked up some burger and some chips. And then pedaled over to Turning Brook to visit Bernice. We took her a loaf of bread. And I didn't know it, but yesterday was her 94th birthday. And her daughter was there, and then her son came, one of her sons. And great-great-grandchildren were supposed to be coming during the afternoon to visit her. But it was a nice visit. It was nice to see her. Sat and watched a bit of the Tigers game. Uh, when I left, they were winning 4-2. to two. They were down 2 to nothing, but I believe in the fourth inning, they had five hits and scored four runs, and I don't know what happened after that. But yeah, they had that pitcher's number. <laughs> I, can't, I couldn't believe that he didn't get yanked sooner. Anyway, back in the old days, they used to leave them in until their arms were falling off. That was even before my time. Anyway, so we came home from Bernice's. Had not quite seven miles in riding on those errands. And uh, didn't have a book to read. We forgot to get out and pick up a book to read to the cats last night. So we didn't do any reading. And we watched some videos on YouTube and trying to think of the movie we watched. We actually uh, watched, started watching the movie um, The Ghost Rider. And here we are. Here we are. And despite the magical time of this year, I'm not feeling it. I can see it and enjoy it and appreciate it like I have in years past. 
but it's not giving me the stimulation and excitement and the, the urge to just get out and go like it has in years past. Got one blackbird out there feeding. The birds have been coming in the wee hours. They've been, it gets light pretty early now. I think it's probably light around quarter to six in the morning and the birds come and feed then and by the time I get up and get out here and get situated, they've pretty much come and gone. But it changes throughout the afternoon. We'll get more in. Mo and Millie Mallard have been coming for breakfast and dinner. Oh boy, and with that, we're going to take a break. Welcome back, and I don't really mean that, and I didn't mean it when I said good morning either. Here's that Sullivan. Here's Bob Sullivan in. Come on, honey. How are you, Saul? Did you have a good adventure, buddy? Did you have a good adventure? You all right? Well, what are you thinking, mister? What are you thinking? I wish I had your ambition. Oh, boy. No, oh, he saw that glucosamine Max didn't eat. That was some more excitement from yesterday. We got it in our l and our Dasequin. The Dasequin is glucosamine for Maxi's arthritis. I might start taking it. And uh, the l is for the immune systems. I should probably start taking that, too. We're back again. We got a pair of blue jays, and it looks like some red-winged blackbirds out feeding. Sullivan went back outside. Mackie's there. Mikey's there. Got a nice coffee. Gonna need several of them today, I think. There's a Eight ounces of espresso in that jar, and then you fill it with ice cubes, put in a half teaspoon of sugar in the raw, and a splash of heavy whipping cream, and swirl it around. I call it electric coffee. Oh, boy. You'll forget me not, sir. Shining brightly over there among the dandelions. There goes Mr. Blue Jay. Oh, boy. So we're just about done with our readings. I might read one and I might not. And looking at what passes for news. I usually have been enjoying watching Sheriff Grady Judd down in Polk County, Florida, do his morning coffee report. But as far as everything else go, it's just disgusting as usual. Despite how much knowledge we have, Humanity is just going down the toilet everywhere, it seems. You know, one thing that is a... I, I hate the, the plastic. Everything's plastic, and we've been sold a bill of goods on that, like so many other things. The recent story I've read is that only 6% of plastic that gets into recycling bins gets recycled. It's just cheap for them to make it. And it's all about profit and greed, like so many things we do, the human species. And uh, where was I going with that? Yeah, glass and wood and things like that, those are really recyclable and use, reusable things, paper things. But oh no, they keep pushing more and more plastic. And it's going to be the end of us. I don't remember what I wanted to say about that, but, you know, and then the, another thing that I've been noticing, there's, we've had bovine TB in the state for years in the deer, and they wipe out people's dairy farms because of it, and now there's some kind of avian flu that cows are getting, and uh, now it's the same thing, and it's like so many things that all these experts are trying to control and it don't work, man. Nature's going to happen and we can't do nothing about it. it it's going to go the way it goes. And the more we try to 
change the natural flow and progress of things, the more we screw up the earth, this earth and this world. And these laws that get passed, they're all about somebody making profit off it. They're not for the benefit of humanity or the world. They talk a good game, but like these EVs and all that, that's a fiasco nobody wants to admit, like so many other things. Anyway, I don't know. I was going to read, and I'm going to read, and then just close out. We're going to get through this day one way or another. Once we get moving, we got lots of things to do, and we're going to start doing them. Oh, boy, where is our... So this is from our... The Healing Drum from Black Wolf Jones. Take this moment and create the most pleasant experience of your life. That's the best advice I've got for me right now, and I'm going to try to do that. We'll get a little more woke up, get a little food into us. we got a plan for today, and a good plan today is better than a perfect plan tomorrow. Just got to get moving, and that should get us doing that, that iced coffee. So from the cold gray ashes and coals of my cold black heart, my broken, beaten, battered, bruised, bloody, burden, empty, hollow, cracked, shattered, hopeless, forsaken, forlorn, bitter, angry, tired, resentful, twisted, convoluted, confused, grieving, happy and grateful soul, piss off, happy, no complaint, Thursday, and thanks for not tuning in.